Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, we will go through the chart creation with the help of uh, Pandas data frame because that's what we were going to use most of the time. So let import Pandas as PD, Pandas as PD. All right, and instead of this, we will get our uh, orders file which I have been using in so many videos pd.read underscore excel and that is sales.xls let me see if that is the case e yes sales.xls all right if I do that I will just be able to use it from now onward and uh, we will use we will not create anything else but we will simply use the uh, scatter chart and we will say x is nothing but our data frame which is orders and orders dot sales and y is nothing but orders dot profit so we will create simple uh, order and profit uh, sales and profit chart so for x axis we will say sales and for y axis we will simply say profit so what we have done is nothing simply we changed the in the previously created video we simply changed the random points to something which is meaningful which is real in life and uh, we are providing the x and y data points to our chart and we are simply changing the title of the chart since i have already explained the structure in the last video which was a bit long so i am not going to do that again uh, otherwise it will unnecessarily um, you know uh, repetition of the same knowledge so if you have not seen that about this structure and all you I, I suggest that you go ahead and and see that so if i just go ahead and execute it it's working fine and uh, if i execute this and click over here i get my profit and profit and sales chart which i can if i want I can slice and based on my needs I can slice so all of this information uh, is uh, is in your hand based on how much customization you want to do uh, another thing which you can do is uh, like if you are seeing over here uh, we are getting these two data points 2787 and 9262 if you want close I have already explained it but let me explain it again what we can do is first of all I will just interrupt that and uh, I come over here and I say hover mode is equals to closest all right if I execute it execute it again and go back uh, you now see my two data points are coming together so these this is basically the uh, control that you can have you can look at all the different parameters that is available I have already talked about that how you can take help and see all the parameters in the help video so if you have not seen that I suggest you do that uh, so you will get to know about parameters like hover mode and there are many other parameters which you can use so that's quickly I wanted to show you how you can create the real-time chart within the plotly dash and in the next video we will talk about the controls so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and uh, want more videos directly in your inbox then go ahead and subscribe and definitely share with others to increase their knowledge